All right, and we're live. We're back here at Loki 13 Podcast, and Melody's hey, not hey. here. Hey. Yeah, we got Alex is filling in for Melody this week. That's Captain Hot Topic. Yes, Captain Hot Topic to you, to you guys. Uh, Melody is working out her schedule. We will be coming on back on the regular in the new year with some fucking regular podcast, but she's got to figure out her schedule so we can make it fucking happen. So today we have Alex <laughs> Haber. Alex. And purple. <laughs> and purple. I knew First that was purple. Everybody's uh, back from the fucking new year. Yeah, first podcast of the year. You're starting things off on a real low note, I it's gotta true. say. It's oh, true. shit. It's I didn't low. even it's realize true. that. Yeah. It is. Fuck. How was you guys' We new better year? step it up. How was you guys' new year, right? It was good from what I remember of it. You oh, were yes, here. you were here. You were yeah. here. I was here too, yes. weren't you? We were all here. I was all here too. It's a <laughs> we fucking, were all here. After two o'clock in the morning, it's a fucking blur. <laughs> yep. But yeah. uh, I, I remember, actually remember everything this time. Well, I you? came here. I, <laughs> I, I, I came here at like, like I came here at like nine. Because, yeah, you were here early. Just because I wanted, I knew I was going to be here for a while, and I definitely wanted to put my jacket on one of the seats to guarantee that I could sit down when I needed it. And I've never seen you falling asleep at the bar, and you were falling asleep wow. at the bar. Yeah, I've never seen. I wasn't sure it was him. Like I go walking by, and I like. Kind of took a second look and I like tapped him on the back and this fucking sweaty fucking bloodshot head fucking pulls up. I'm like, hey, Alex. Oh, yeah, you think it's time to go home? Yeah. (laughs) And and, and it got even better because, you know, I knew that Ubers were going to be a little more than usual because they always raise them on a fucking holiday. Yeah. Yeah, Wow. It's it's normally like $20 to get from an Uber back to my house in Manhattan. But I was expecting, okay, it's the new year. Everybody's going to be wasted and requesting it. So it might be 40. Fine. But it was also raining. So I, so you know, they you're charge always more for rain. You're always able yeah. to see. Are you serious? They charge more just based yeah. on the demand for them. So yeah. I looked at the price just to see because they always show you the price before you request an Uber. It was hundred and nine dollars. Wow. So I was just like, "Fuck this." That's I, fucking crazy. Yep. So I was just like, "No." Nope. It's raining. You have so to pay hundred. I take my drunk. Raining in New Year's. I take it. I just take the subway, and actually, the subway showed up, and I get off in Union Square, and. I didn't realize, sorry, mom, if you're listening to this, but uh, I was walking the wrong direction home for like an hour. I, and it, I didn't realize it until I looked up and I was like looking at the Freedom Tower like face to face. I was like, oh, shit, I walked the wrong way. <laughs> and then I ended up walking home. Were you high? No, I was just you're fucking drunk. Oh, oh, a lot of Jack and Coke. You yeah, know? it was a lot of Jack and Cokes and a lot of shots. Yeah, but it was a good time. It, was a, lot, it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Yeah, I always yeah. come here on New Year's Eve. Yeah, by the end it was a fucking blur for me, but it was fun. Not You're all a bunch of pussies. No, just kidding. Fuck you, man. <laughs> I remember everything. I didn't rape anyone. I didn't pass out in my car. I didn't puke on anyone. I did really good as this year. As far as you yeah. know. That's and cool. I was still drunk. I think my tolerance is getting higher. Well, that's what happens. Your tolerance gets fucking higher and then you turn into... I don't know. I think last year I probably drank more. Yeah. But it is. But you, you do. You build up tolerance. I don't know. That's why I want to quit drinking for a while again because I want to build up my tolerance, uh, lose my tolerance again because yeah. now it's fucking hard for me to get yeah. drunk lately. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I, I'm always smart. I don't normally start drinking until I had like a full meal or anything like that. And it's so I, responsible. Yeah. That's what it was. Last year I didn't eat anything. Oh. Now yeah. I'm fat. I eat like every five seconds. Yeah. I understand. New Year's Eve here, though, is always a blast. You know, it's, you know, I want to try to get away. You know, I live on. I live in Gramercy, so I'm not too far away from the ball dropping. So, the man. Yeah, so it's a fucking night. I don't know how people do that during the year. Especially Where do when they it, go to pee? Like, they just pee? You don't. Like, I do heard they wear some diapers? People, yeah, I heard some people wear diapers. Yeah, some people for this wear event. diapers. Don't you think that's, like, really pathetic over a ball? Yeah. Yes. But, you know, but you want to watch a ball drop. Balls, I could just, like, watch bad That's been happening since I was 13. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but I, oh, I get it. And, uh, like, if you were young. And, you know, you're not from New York, and it's fucking exciting being in Times Square. I get it, but I don't get it. Like, I wouldn't fucking do it. I no fucking way. hate people. I don't want them near yeah, me. Yeah, most of the people. You think I want to be surrounded by people shitting themselves? No. I-, I was talking with somebody whose, like, friend works as a cop in that section during that time, and he says 98% of the people there are, like, tourists. Oh, from, of course. Yeah, like, yeah. it's just, so to come here and get away from that... As far away as yeah, possible. New Yorkers aren't going to fucking Times Square. No way. No fucking way. I remember I had a cousin visit me one time for Christmas, and she wanted to do all the tourist things. So on Christmas Eve, I had to take her to Times Square. I had to take her to Macy's. I had to take her to all that. Macy's. So it's good. Like I have to say, when people come into town, it's good to do that kind of stuff because you're not going to do it otherwise, you know. But like, it's cool to like see 
you know, old New York history and all that kind of shit. Like, I've still never been to Ellis Island. I've been in this fucking city for almost 25 years. Yeah. I've still never been to Ellis Island. I should totally go to fucking Ellis I've Island. I've been there. It's not all that. Don't waste time. Well, when somebody tells well, me... <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody tells me that they want to experience New York, like how a New Yorker lives, Yeah, I, I say, okay, wake up with me at 8 in the morning, get on the subway during rush hour, and come to work with me. You'll see how a New Yorker well, lives. Yeah, but nobody, nope. wants to, nobody wants to see that fucking shit. Nobody yeah. can handle the stress of a New Yorker. Yeah. Okay. No, the it is anxiety, the it, stress. I agree. Financial anxiety. I agree. This city is my home, and I love it. But I will agree that it is the most stressful place to live on the planet. It is stressful. Everybody here. It on, really fucking is. Everybody's here on anti antidepressants, or they're fucking high. Exactly. I gotta <laughs> smoke the weed, to stay, and it's shit. Yeah. At also, this point, you, the weed is just keeping me normal. It's not even getting me so high if, anymore. So if you lived elsewhere, you wouldn't uh, smoke as much weed as you do. That's not true. Mm. She might not eat it so much. If it's illegal, like if I'm traveling in another country, like when I went to Germany, that's when I broke my weed smoking record. I didn't smoke for two weeks. Oh, what, wow. it, what it's not legal in Germ like uh, parts of Germany. Yeah, no, definitely imagine? not. It's it's, it's uh, like it's no. bad. Like if you get I've, caught, you're fucked. I have family yeah. in Germany and it's pretty I, I watch a lot of those locked up. I don't want to risk it. Yeah. I'm not trying to get locked, locked up, up abroad. abroad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my god, that shit is fucked up yeah, like fucked up. it makes you appreciate that you live here because yeah. if you get your yeah no like, i'm not doing that if it's you get i wouldn't want to get locked up here either but locked up abroad seems fucking scarier especially because- in thailand they shave your head Bangkok yeah. jail is scary. I have friends that have been in well, Bangkok jail. Well, they don't want you to freaking get lice and I hear and horror stories. and all that yeah. kind of shit. The water's dirty outside of jail. I can't imagine what it is inside of jail. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I, I, I can't imagine like somebody from the States or something like that getting busted over there. It almost happened having, to me. And having to drink the water over there and stuff. I was um, going to this like party. I don't remember. Oh, it was the full moon party. It's called in Thailand. And they just legalize marijuana. I don't know if it's just like medical. It's not really legal, but they yeah. don't bust balls about it. Yeah, probably. But back when I, when this happened to me, it was not legal. And I had a whole bunch of it in my purse. And I'm like tripping balls on like acid, you know, going to this party on my motorbike. And like they have undercovers like everywhere. Like just these regular looking Thai guys that, I don't know, try to sell you drugs. And like I had them coming up to me like, oh, you want? And I'm like, nope, leave me alone, leave me alone. I don't want nothing. And then, like, they're, like, watching me go in my bag. And I'm like, yo, fuck off. Like, why are you watching me? He's got, like, a flashlight. All right, go ahead. Point to the story. So get, let us, what happened? What happened? He left, man. He dipped. I was like, yo. He's like, what are you looking for in your bag? I was like, nothing, just my camera. That's it? And he left. Yeah, but Let's you just got to know. Like, just say no. Well, like, well, from like what if I, I was, was stupid, like, oh, yeah, sure. I would have been, like, fucking no, well, in listen, jail. Well, from what I was told there, I was talking to a dude there. And he was telling me that. They want tourists to come there. So they're not going to fuck with the tourists. They're going to fuck with the locals. And they'll let you sell them drugs. Like, just don't fuck oh, with the Oh, the money. Tourists. You got to give yeah, them money. Yeah, they want money. They want they Well, want I didn't money. have money, so I would have been fucked. Yeah, well, but the city wants <laughs> money, too. They don't want to go busting. They don't want you to, like, say that you got busted in fucking Thailand and shit like that. They want to know you went there and had a good freaking time, as long as you're not causing trouble. Look at the Netherlands. I think, I think the Netherlands is a I don't know. Event. I saw two girls get roofied out there. Like, I had to save them. Yo, it was crazy. Yeah. These two French girls, when they woke up from their, like, roofie trip, they were, like, speaking French and hugging me. And I was like, oh, this is nice. We like wee wee. Yeah. <laughs> well, one they like one of them was like cracked out, like help me, my sister, doo, doo, doo. and the other one's just passed out, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes in the middle of a nightclub. And I'm like, holy shit! And I just like kept them with me. It was a twenty twenty four hour party. What? You take a piss on her or anything? <laughs> That's what you would do. <laughs> See, I would love to go to Thailand, but like because of that shit that you just no, told me, that's and, just like a little and like being side in like story. the worst earthquake zone. Did you just see what, what? happened in that? Yeah, 2004 tsunami that happened there. Half of that country didn't even exist after that tsunami. Well, yeah, a, a lot of it was was wiped out and shit. Wait, I thought that thing was in Japan. No, no, that, that was, was 2011. In, yeah, it was in 2000 in Thailand. Also. In 2004, that went from Thailand all the way to Africa. Yeah. So you think what are the odds of me going there and the whole world's gonna? Listen, happen? you never know. Listen, we could be. The, the, <laughs> the, Did you just see what happened in Indonesia? Did you see you that concert? Could go to Nam, you could go to Nam, and the fucking oh, California could fall off. You know? So, yeah. I, Wait, you, what? You never know. Yeah. Hold up. California's falling off? No, but, well, you know, California's on a fault line. So <laughs> yeah, but that's more like northern kind of, like the worst case scenario in the region I go, they just had to go through that horrible wildfire down there and shit and like So you that. see, so you never enough fucking know. You can't yeah, just. Yeah, man, you could be you anywhere. Yeah, you can't live life like that. I don't yeah. live you know I mean? like that at all. Live yeah. in the moment, man. Exactly. That's why after 40, you don't even use condoms. 
You know, like what? <laughs> okay, now you again. Okay, my talk. mother's gonna be listening to this. <laughs> That's crazy talk. Always use condom, children. No, yeah, yeah right. exactly. You could get like a disease. Like a disease, man. No fucking like pregnant. Even. You become down with you become down with the sickness. Yeah, but at least yeah. pregnant, you could just like abort it. You can't just abort a disease. Well, it's abortion is not a fucking easy thing. Yeah, to that's. Go it's, <laughs> but having a disease is worse, in my opinion. No, would you rather chlamydia or get, uh, get pregnant? Chlamydia, you can clean up with some antibiotics. Forever. Yeah. It's like gone forever. Not hurt like herpes or warts <laughs> and things like that. That's a different story. But you can catch that by oh, fucking Oh, man. I mean, also. I guess I would pick the terrible disease in that case. But most diseases, I'm talking about the incurable one. Oh, yeah. Well, I, well, I like am AIDS. too. Of course, of course. Okay? Yeah. Use of a course. condom. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Always use a condom. But pregnant is not fucking We have condoms anymore. at the front door for a reason. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm hearing more stories, like, you know, about how condoms break. I'm this close to using just a glad garbage bag at this point. Be like, hefty, hefty, hefty. Well, I think all men should just get fixed. I agree. That doesn't help from fucking STDs. Yeah. Well, with your with the kid problem, I meant you know. Yeah, you know, you get a little. Sense. I heard they have like this pill now that could like protect you from getting AIDS. I don't believe it. That's bullshit. I would have that would have made news everywhere yeah, if that well. was the case. That's what they told me when I went like to Planned Parenthood to get you know like a Pap smear. You know my yearly Pap smear. They're like, oh, yeah? oh we got this pill now. I don't remember. They're like advertising it everywhere, and I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? They're really? Pro- they're they're probably- like, oh, if you want to protect yourself. I'm like, uh... That was probably uh, just like a buy two, get on, one like, free deal or something yeah, like that. Like, <laughs> I've never heard of that. Yeah. Look like, up the AIDS pill. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like Google, like, yeah, I don't yeah. remember the name of If you of get pill, two but... STDs, uh, we'll throw you this AIDS pill for free <laughs> or something like that. Well, it's kind of like the fucking, you know, the after dinner pill. I mean, the after, uh, the morning after pill. It's after pretty much... dinner pill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll they tell what you do after it. dinner. Definitely. They're giving it out for free, yo, to Planned Parenthood. Huh? They're giving it out for free. If they feel like that you're in risk of getting, like, AIDS, they give it out for free to you. Oh, that's sweet. So what? They'd be like, I don't know what at that's risk like of getting saying, AIDS would be. I mean, just like well, that, fuck? that's fucked up. That's like saying, oh, you look like a whore. Like if you're here, dating here, someone pill. that has promiscuous AIDS, promiscuous sex and promiscuous gay sex or promiscuous yeah, I guess sex so, yeah. and anal sex. You know, that's your favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Ugh. Uh-huh. Only when it's your tongue purple. Ew. <laughs> ew, ew. Oh, anything, any, anything by the ass. Like oh. Ugh, yeah. I only ate ass once, and it was definitely a female. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I would do it to a dude. Yeah, better off. You end up like flossing with their teeth by accident. Unless it was like a gay dude that was like very clean and like gay. Yeah, I trim my butthole. Stick your (laughs) face in there. I'm officially disturbed. Yeah. Oh, that's a good band. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my God, you're so hot topic. I know, and I'm damn proud of it too. Well, wait, that's what we were talking about earlier. You said something about the uh, oh, uh, insane clown posse. Yes, leave ICP alone. No, listen. I'm you know I don't listen to them that often. I I don't judge their. So basically, I was watching the show called Beyond Scared Straight. Like it was aired from like 2010 to 2015, and um, there were these two sisters. I mean, they were they were horrible kids. Like if they were my kids i would like send them to boarding school like they were horrible horrible kids they were doing like a shit ton of drugs so it doesn't matter if they yeah. fucking listen but, to the same class yeah yeah it. like they were slapping their mom across the face like they were horrible kids but right. but like the mom like the the main source of her story she was like crying like like jerry springer style like and they dress up in this clown makeup uh-huh. and listen to this insane clown pose oh, band and oh my like, god that's what everybody said. yeah and like so like you see them like walking around their neighborhood like going whoop whoop and then and then they go to the scared straight program and like one of the prisoners comes up and goes you like dressing like a clown don't you so they make uh, them like put Kool Aid on their face and like make them wear this weird makeup and like yeah you still want to listen to that shit you still want to support that angry fucking music so what happened what was the outcome that they get scared so so at the end of the, did each, they leave crying at the end of well every kid cries in that jail they're putting them in jail with like murderers Adults, it's, yeah. it's it's not like you know oh somebody gives a speech or anything and they like, tell them to amp it the fuck up so yeah they want to yeah. scare the shit out they're, of them. they're like you know you disrespect your parents you end up in here i swear i'll make you my bitch like stuff like that what's right. the accent for i have no idea um that was <laughs> it sounds so familiar like I don't know who it is. But it's him trying to be a black man. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, but uh, so at the end of each episode, they tell you like where the kids are. Some of them it turn them three uh, one eighty degrees. Some of them doesn't change at all. But like you see, like in the end, these two girls no longer wear clown makeup. No longer listen. Oh, to it was them. girls that were doing this. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 
whatever. I wear my makeups and I like listen, it. Listen, whoop, whoop, motherfucker. Yeah, well, it, listen, it's, listen. You can say that about any fucking genre of music. Jazz music back when it first started had the same reputation as any as any as Marilyn Manson did. It's, I know. It's like bullshit. I know. Except the jazz players I don't, fucking didn't wear clown makeup. Mm. I mean, maybe they did. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? I'm sure there were white guys in blackface, which was not cool either. That's fucked up. Oh, my God. (laughs) When I went to Amsterdam, there was blackface, like, painting people. I don't know why. It's apparently part of some sort of, like, festival that they do. Like, they don't mean it in a racist way. They're, like, it's just, like, a culture thing that they do. Where was this? But, like, and then, like, I I didn't know. Like, I was young. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Amsterdam, The whitest, one of the whitest countries in the fucking world. I got the photo, like, of me and the two black faces. It was (laughs) my default. And and at the time, it was, like, the, like, most evil country next to Britain in terms of imperialism. And then, like, everyone was getting upset, commenting on my photo, and I didn't get it because I didn't even know blackface was a thing. Yeah, and then I looked it up, and it's just like some culture thing they do. It's yeah, well, not it's racist. Not, it's, well, it's not cool. Well, what they're doing is not cool. Yeah, that's that's kind of uh, I don't know that that rubs me the wrong it's way. Just paint, so man. many ways. No, it's that, well, listen. You're imitating a black person. Like if somebody listen, went around no, dressing were, in striped pajamas, being like, "This is part of my culture," I'd be like, them. "Fuck you." Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> what if everybody fucking like pretended to shave their head on the side? They already put, do. Like no, they pretended and put a little tie fucking leopard thing on the side of their head and goofed around and did funny things. I'm not the only Wouldn't you be offended? I'm not saying you, but you're one of them. You know, I'm one of them. You're, one, you're one of the fucking leopard head people. You know, leopard head <laughs> people. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you be offended if all these fucking leopard head people were getting fucking like kind of goofed on? But you know what I mean? You fucking leopard nah, head. You... Yeah, you would. Yeah, you would. It's not cool, man. <laughs> it's not cool, man. Yeah, I'm taking I don't my know. leopard skin and yeah. wearing it. I don't know. I, I like. I if somebody walked around wearing striped pajamas and told me that that was part of their thing, I'd be like, "You're a fucking asshole." You know what I mean? Striped pajamas in the Holocaust. You know what I mean? But you know what? Uh, what a world we live in that we can't even just wear paint. You know, like uh, it's just getting oh, out of purple. control. I wore corpse paint shit. around Central Park in the snow, and I may have scared a few people, but nobody thought anything of it. <laughs> Yeah, do that in blackface. Watch like, unless they're, spe- unless they're specifically not. like pinpointing, like, yeah. "Hey, I'm wearing this paint because I'm an asshole and I'm racist." But like, if you're just wearing it because it's like some like festival thing or something, but it's it's disrespectful. You can't yeah, say that. It's, it's disrespectful. That's why, like, you know, uh, like, you know, a lot of people, like non-native people, also too, wear running around wearing headdresses and shit like that. Yeah, it's disrespectful to that culture. Also, you know, you gotta respect. Why can't I wear beliefs. feathers though? Do they you own wear, the feathers? You can wear feathers, but fucking a a, a, a headdress, it's not. Uh, I think it's pretty. That's not good enough. No. See, that's not right. All right. Well, we, we had a long discussion. I mean, not to compare one issue over the other, but when you see like... What if King I have Car- a performance and you I want to wear it? Let's, when, pr- let's when, dress when, purple up in blackface <laughs> and put a headdress on her and we'll send her out into Times Square and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> well, like, do, I mean, not to what compare, one, like is, and the, and the, one is way more severe than another, but don't we get mad when like somebody wears a metal shirt and like knows nothing about the I band? don't give a fuck. Yeah, but I like, don't care about like, that. Some, like, I remember Kim Kardashian was like public enemy number one. I care about that in high school, you know? I'm older I don't care what anybody wears that. or what anybody does. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't care about that either. Fuck off. Um, yeah, see, see, that's perfect. And we'll put her in a, in a Holocaust outfit. We'll put her in the Who? Shirts. Me? Right, yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. What's next? The Ku Klux Klan hood? <laughs> yeah, we'll have uh, Frankie chasing around in the bunny suit. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, have, you'll have one person being... You'll have... One of them would be considered the asshole, and the other one would be considered emotionally disturbed. Exactly. Did you guys see the second Harold and Kumar? No, I don't watch the anything. I did watch a long with, time with the, ago. Oh it's, man. Like, it's like old as when shit. They were like in the Ku Klux Klan. Oh, I don't remember that. I don't know. That movie was I like making black, fun of like I did, racism. I did see the Black Klansman though, which was really good. Did you watch that? The Black Klansman. I never no. even heard of that. No, it's like a new movie out. Spike Lee did it. It was really good. It's a must watch. I can't even no, remember the last time I watched it. I don't watch a lot of TV. Like, I watch a lot it's of movies, movies, man. It's, it's movies. No, I don't, this is fucking different, man. I can't <laughs> sit for two hours and just like keep my eyes on a screen. Like I, My face hurts so much. Maybe you have ADHD. I do. I do, too. No. High five. You, don't, you think Alex fucking has uh, ADHD? What about me? You think I do? I never got tested, what? but maybe. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, purple. You got. Something. I think I have selected. Yeah, I have definitely got something going. You got something going. They never told me. They said I was fine. Yeah, 
Maybe if you stop <laughs> smoking weed for like three months. Do it for th- I, you're probably like a genius. I would. I got like a degree, yo. I made it. Yeah? I got a degree, yo. <laughs> I, <made it. laughs> I got a degree, yo. <laughs> yeah. It means I'm a genius. I don't know. Apparently, Is that I'm what your paper. degree said? It just said, yes, yo, I got a diploma. degree in being a genius. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Yeah, I went to Fuck art it. school. I'm not, I have no right to. Uh, listen, I've Listen, barely, artists I barely are geniuses. High school. Huh? Artists are geniuses. Two yes. Weeks. Yeah, art is the only thing that tells the truth in this world, yeah. Uh, not necessarily. Sometimes art is a method of getting away from the truth. Oh, wow, that was very or deep. Or a method of distorting <laughs> it. Yeah, you just blew purple's mind, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that. I that did that. Cool. I did that pot free. Uh, so <laughs> You're a pothead. It's fucking blew my mind. I smoked man. it once and you never let me go. <laughs> did you smoke? Do you smoke pot or not? No, not oh, at yeah. all. I made I mean, him I'm smoke weed. Yeah, and I ended up almost calling the cops on myself because I got so paranoid, <laughs> and I ended up ordering like three I bowls of onion shit. rings here, yeah. and like, <laughs> like, and Melody was like, "Were you raised in a cage? How are you like twenty one years, twenty three years old, and haven't even attempted to try it?" I'm uh, like, "Because it would upset my mother." Well, that was nice of you, though. Oh wow! I now your mom knows you're a pothead. Yeah. But now we know she, she tried it. She's probably like, well, it's about fucking time you tried it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? My mom would be like, oh, hey, this would be my death. Where did I go wrong as a child? <laughs> I wear a goat horse shirt. It's like, oh, did I bathe you too hot as a child? Where did I go wrong? Oh, hey. I smoked a little pot in LA when I was out there. I don't smoke pot either. I had a go. You like that? Huh? I just don't like it's, the smell either. Like the smell is yeah, I beautiful. Love the smell. It's I, gorgeous. I, I don't like the effects, but I love it the smell. It smells like skunk. I love all of it. Hell like yeah, that skunk shit. It smells oh. like nice incense. Oh, see, I love I get scent. this weed that smells like fucking uh, uh, dragon fruit. Huh? It's dragon. called forbidden uh, fruit. Yeah, I tried. Listen, I tried some weed out in California, and I don't smoke pot, but somebody gave it to me. That Cali yeah, weed? Me, yeah, but it was only 8% THC. Awesome. Oh, pussy weed. <laughs> but like I was hanging out with a friend of mine and she was giving me, she's like, oh, it's, you know, because she's a they fucking huge you. pothead. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, they lied. She handed me this in Cali. Shit. She handed me this thing. It's like all like. Green? Or brown? No, it was like, like, I don't know, but it was like a out of a factory fucking rolled joint. Like oh, it, yeah. It that's... came out of a pack. And it had a little filter on it. It was mixed with tobacco. I don't know what the fuck it was mixed with, but all <laughs> I know is I got high. She started feeding me shots of fucking vodka. I got retarded. Nice. Like I, I'm sorry, I got very challenged. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> I'm offended, man. Yeah. I remember the first time I smoked weed and drank at the same time. It, I felt very like dizzy, but then it like balanced out, and now I just do it all the time. Ugh, my friend was asking me where I was, and. My text messages that went out were just fucking uh-huh. jumbled. It was just like, blah, 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 blah. I don't even great. know how I was texting them. I yeah. feel like I just text like that all the time. I never t- like spell anything right. I'm always in a rush. In a you room. you go pretty fast, though. You were texting me today. I got today. fast fingers. I like yeah. sort of thumbs. I was like, if I, if, can you like beat a couple of these video games for me? Because you got the quick enough thumbs. Yeah, you to do. do. You type really fast. If you I'm a writer, a you know, like the, I. That's how I got through college. Like I just, yeah, I wrote down my thumbs, lesson it's plans. Totally yeah. fucking different though. Purple. Both. It's I write thumbs. fast and I type fast. Like thumbs. it's crazy. You got thumbs. You got though. magic fingers. Yeah, you go to video games too. You want me to put it in your butt? Um, when I was younger, I used to play video games. What's with you in the butts today? I don't know. Are you good at video games or no? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Certain ones, not you a all Zelda of them. Fan? Zelda? I mean, I played it before. I never got like That's into my childhood it. right there. I always wanted to play with Zelda. I liked Oddworld. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, you like that one? Gross. <laughs> uh, Isn't Zelda a dude? No, that's no. Me. <laughs> that was the number one of our dancers. <laughs> oh, that's Zelda. <laughs> I was I referring to the game, and then Jeff had to bring. Yeah. The- well, wait, get wait. It? I forgot, man. She disappeared into the light. Yeah, she's in California now. When I was out in California, I actually texted her to see where she was, but she was way the fuck up north. Uh, oh, deep. Yeah, yeah, like I heard California now is trying to split into three different states because of how like different it is now. Like they're making like a Northern California, a regular California, and like. I wouldn't live there. Would or you? Like, I wish I lived there. I, I would totally live there. 
Uh, for a while, I'd love to check it out. Like I, I yeah, I wouldn't stay there, but I would live there for I a year. I wouldn't say I wouldn't stay, but I, 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 I would, I would try it. You know, I love California. I'd but I would try Colorado out. Yeah, I, well, we I know why you want to go to Colorado. Yeah, I know, man. We can well, no, here. there's weed in California too. Weed yeah, has the, the California, California has the biggest dispensary in like the country. Yeah, and I watched a really good documentary. And I went about, there. Did you go to Murder Mountain? What's going on over there? Huh? What? <laughs> What's so going on right? over there? <laughs> uh, I forget what part of California. It's in Northern California. It's where all the, the they grow all the all the drugs. Murder. Well, they called it Murder Mountain. The documentary. Oh, murder. Murder. Like, yeah, I what get the it. hell did you think I said? You know, like killing people. Yeah. Well, it's they call it, it's nicknamed Murder Mountain. I forget the name of the town that it's in, um, but they get into like the whole. How now that you know it's trying to change since they like how it started out back in the 60s. It didn't go on fire. No, no, no. All this is in Northern California, there? not Southern California. Oh, this okay, is Northern good. California. Well, the thing is, like, I love California. Imagine a weed field I, went on fire. I've Everyone been, would be high. I've been to California many times. I love it there, but I could not live there. Like everything is like an hour and a half away from each other, and like that, that's what I would have to live. I like San Fran. San Fran I've is. Never, I love San Fran. Yeah, but it's Francisco. everything is more expensive than it is here. Like I, got so many. Vegan it's got to be the same as freaking as New York. No, 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 no. A pack of cigarettes nah, there like was like the eighteen dollars when I was there. Well, it's up to fifteen here now. Yeah, well, just about. I don't give a fuck about cigarettes. Unless you go to the eight dollar pack the, around the, the corner. Yeah, but like, but also like, I th- I remember like everything in San Francisco was expensive. I went to get like a I Snapple felt like it was at a the C- same. I went to get a Snapple at a CVS and that was like three fifty or something like that, and it's like two dollars here. You look in Manhattan, dude. Manhattan's fucking. I remember buying. Bro, Hawaii's the worst. I remember buying a box of cereal in Manhattan when I was staying. I was staying at my friend's place for a little while, and I remember I like went out to go buy cereal, and it was like, I mean, I lived in the ghetto in Brooklyn when I kill was us. when I was there, but yeah, it was fucking brutal. Like, yeah, Manhattan's fucking crazy too. Yeah. Nah, I mean, Hawaii's the worst. A fucking cheeseburger was like twenty bucks just yeah, for the cheeseburger. Yeah, pineapples are fucking nice and cheap. Yeah, I think with a place Bananas. like Hawaii though, you get kind of get your money's worth. Mm-mm. I was there. It was terrible. I was broke. I had no money to get. Well, they, they, they need volcano insurance. Yeah, there, I would so. love to go to fucking Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii either. It's fucking beautiful, but yeah. fucking expensive. Yeah, Holy shit. When I'm rich, I'll go. It's the hardest state to get to from here. Yeah, yeah and was. flying in was pretty cool. It's so in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and then flying away, it's like, oh my God, goodbye, little island. It's surrounded by nothing. It just like disappeared into the blue as I flew away. Uh, it was, was so, so sad. I shed like a little tear. How flight is it from California? To, from where, uh, from here to there? Uh, no, I know where California is from here to California. Uh, oh. How far from Hawaii to like Los Angeles? From Ho- I, I, I actually think it would be just as long. I think the amount of ocean uh, between it is like the same. Amount. Oh, it would only of be what? like a five hour. I no, because if we like if we fly to fucking like. If, I know if we go to Hawaii, like we always stop in California, do we not? Does it not? Uh, like, there's no direct flights from yeah, here. Yeah, I think, I think there's a layover. Uh, yeah, there's always a layover, right? <clears throat> Did you stop in, um, in Los Angeles? Fucking a! I I had a direct flight. I thought. I don't know. I don't Everybody, know, I'm yeah. high. Oh, yeah, I think I yeah. could stop in Cali. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm not that high. <laughs> it comes and goes sometimes. Yeah. The, the, I drank the whole drink. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. It comes back. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think I did have a layover in, in California. Actually. I am just wondering how far it is from Los Angeles to Hawaii. It's pretty, I mean, it's not. Probably like eight hours. No, no, no. no. That's an exaggeration. I, I think maybe four. No, it's six to get from here to Los Angeles, and it's not another six. I think it would be another six hours tops. From Los Angeles to there? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should give my dad a call on the podcast and find out. Google it. All right. Um, <laughs> what was I going to fucking ask you, Purple? If I'm gay? No, I know you fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> Except you want to fucking stick, you keep talking about finger in my ass. Which I, I don't know. know. That's your idea. Uh. Wait, what's on the walls? Like, we are, is that for working out? Those, those are working coat out. hangers. Like, you know, those things that you grab on the wall and you. Those are coat no, hangers. Those are, no, those are fucking. You those know what are I'm for saying? Sound. Oh, that's for sound. Oh, that's wow. Sound. You definitely have ADHD. What? Me? Yo, you. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. I'm staring at that thing, and I'm like, what is that? Right. L.A. to Hawaii, flight time. Four hours. Uh, ding, ding, ding. It's like from going us to Puerto it's, Rico. No? Uh, to Honolulu, uh, it's six hours even. All right. So it's a 12-hour trip. You guys feel accomplished now? To. Yeah, I know how to use the Google. I'm satisfied. You learn something new every day. I am actually satisfied. That's yeah. marvelous. So in 2018, what are some of our memorable moments? Oh, no. So in oh, this 2021, so... there's going to be a flight that goes from wow. New York to Los Angeles in three hours. That's what I heard. 
Did you hear about the bridge that they're building so we could drive around the whole world? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so serious, bro. Purple, I'm going to sell you a bridge. You're, you're going to... You're no, gonna, they're calling it the fucking... What was it You're going to run out of gas I'm by the time you up. get like... You're going to no, run No, they're out. building gas stations on the bridge. How, where are they going to get the gas? Uh, that's so they're going over the ocean with these bridges. Yo, all the way up in there and fucking past Canada, up, 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 and they build the bridge. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll tell you right now. That sounds... I would not want to sit in a car for that long. My ass what? is hurting. I love driving. It's like yeah, therapy. Yeah, I, I, like, I like road trips, too. Fucking well, drive. I will drive across trips. the road. I don't understand I how you could be on a motorcycle for that long doing these road trips. My, my nuts are just hurting thinking about it. Well, you fucking stop. You, you get out. out. You look at the view. You fucking... Yeah. Take a nap. Yeah. The vibrations beer. from the motorcycle does not work well with me. It works good with the girl on the back of your motorcycle. Yeah, but I wouldn't have a girl on the back of my motorcycle. Yeah, you'd have a That's boy. That's why on the my motorcycle's motorcycle. no. one seater. <laughs> Good one. Good. No, I read a story on fuckmylife.com where um, a guy was dating a girl who was a motorcycle driver, and the guy was actually standing behind, like sitting behind her as she drove the motorcycle, Pussy. and the vibrations got to him, and he ended up just having like an orgasm like all over the motorcycle. Pussy. He must have had a dildo up his ass too, because you don't ride on the back of a motorcycle if you're a man. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, hey, I'll do a road trip. Says with you. me. I, I think what we should do is you. We take a motorcycle trip together, and you get like one of those side cars, those things you attach to the side of the motorcycle. I can see that. I can see that. You'd be like a little dog on the on the side of the car. Oh my god, Google's playing games with me. It's saying I'm crazy. Oh, what do you? Of course it is. <laughs> the bridge around the world. I, they're gonna build it. I of course. Like. Yeah, you're not gonna find that on Google. The There's bridge. No fucking way. I'm finding it. There's no way, Purple. It's impossible. They're building a bridge that goes... There's too much water in between certain land masses. That They're going to fucking impossible. build it. it. And on top of that, the Pacific Ocean with has like all these tectonic plates moving. It's after one earthquake, that bridge is going to be destroyed. Exactly. Whatever. You just fix that. Uh, it's going to take a while to fix. Yeah. And Whatever. <laughs> You're like <laughs> fucking, <laughs> and yeah. as they're fixing it, as they're fixing it, there's probably going to be another earthquake. Oh my god, purple! Stop with the earthquakes. What is that your biggest fear? No, You're like Thailand earthquake. All right, a let's do the fucking news because I got band practice at seven thirty. Oh, oh look yeah. at oh look at you. Oh my god, look, he wants to do the yeah, news. Yeah, because I purple read the news. <laughs> well, you comment. Can do the one, the you first comment, you you comment to on the news. <laughs> he grabs the news. I don't know what's going on with this shit. Woodstock fifty is officially happening this. Time. What? I remember those days. What? No days? way. Woodstock. Yeah, I remember those. It's days. not. It's gonna be whack. It's gonna be wannabe. You know, right? I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean, you can't say the fucking. It's gonna be very corporate. And I don't know. Tell us about it. I don't uh, know. It, there's rumors back in October that Woodstock will be back in 2019 to celebrate its 50th anniversary, and now it's official. The three-day event celebrating the anniversary of the Landmark Festival will take place near the original site of the event. Nice. In the field surrounding the Watkins Glen International between August 16th and 18th. I don't want to tell everyone this. They're going to sell out, and then I can't go. Yo, it's not going to fucking square. It's, <laughs> it's going to be very expensive. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get to. Exactly. I have to say, 20 years ago, I would have went. I would have went to... Well, I'm going to go because I've never been, and I want to know. Yeah. Well, well if, you're not going to get a line of, like, the original Woodstock, especially since 90% like of the, those artists are dead. Yeah, well, not like the original one, but then there was You think the, they'll have some dubstep? There was the one in, what, 93? Uh, I don't know. I, I was 94? born in 93, oh, so geez, I definitely right. wasn't there. There was that one. Who the hell's going to play? And there was, like, bands like Limp Bizkit and, like, all this kind of shit. Um, I would have been there then. Yeah. Like, get Avenged Sevenfold there. I wanted to go to it's that. It's saying that um, they're going to have... Hip hop, rock, and some pop, and some of the legacy bands from the yeah. Original it's probably going to be like Coachella or something like that, like one of those festivals yeah. where it's just like every type of. Oh my band. god, there would be yeah, glamping I tents. I'm so going. Like I'm a, sure there's going to be glamping tents. I remember I'm like be a glamper. Tool, Tool did a festival like two a year or two ago where it Portable was like them toilets. headlining, but like it was like Rihanna and Kesha yeah. and like a bunch of other yeah. guys, or like when Metallica opened up for Rihanna in Central Park. Exactly. They're gonna sell a hundred thousand three day passes. It's a cool. camping festival, my favorite. Yeah, it'll be fun. Go, Purple. I'm going to go and do Mad Acid. There you go. Sounds good. Anybody want to come? I'll, I'm, I'm gonna, not going to that. I'm going to have to respectfully decline on yeah, this that invitation. Fucking filthy well, honestly, me. it depends on who's playing. If it's like whack, I'm not going. Yeah, I, I, a three day festival. I I'm mean, I'm not paying money to see yeah. people I don't care about. Like. Yeah, like I, if it was wa- if it was Vakken or Grass Pop, like those metal festivals, I'd definitely go there. But it suddenly dropped temperature and I'm. 
freezing. Well, so bang through the news. We got right, 10 we're minutes. Banging I gotta get a guy. I feel like I gotta take a shit soon anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like build it up in my belly. Oh you oh oh Thanks you got for sharing. you got the shit brew? Yeah, it's kinda gurgling. <laughs> I had a fucking like a taco salad for dinner, for lunch. Oh well that's your fucking problem right, right there. Was. The problem is everyone needs to be vegan and then no more bad doo doos will happen. Well no, you have you still have to take a shit if you even if you're I've, not eating. I, but it won't be a bad doo doo. I don't I'm not gonna I, listen, with all due you respect, think it's gonna be a good doo doo? I think it's with, gonna with be a good With all due respect, one. I've eaten <laughs> vegetable and vegetarian dinners before and I swear to god it felt like I was shitting out a freaking brain. Because it's well, cleaning out your body in the beginning. It is. It's cleaning out your system. When, listen, when, when I have to say, when I... When was, I hear it go in the toilet and just go into the bottom, like, yeah. like that's a problem. Listen, when I, when I, was, yeah, ve- when I was vegan, I was the most regular I've ever been in my life. Poop, I would right? get up, it's marvelous. Take poop, and fucking call it a day. I never had stomach issues. I never exactly. had to run to the bathroom to take a shit, you know? Look, the non-vegan knows. No, I do. I've been on both sides of the fence, and I understand that, you know... And I'm not saying this is going to be an unhealthy shit when I bust out a fucking dookie, <laughs> you know? Let us know later. On, yeah, on the better, next podcast, we will find out the liquid if Jeff's squirts. doo-doo is a good yeah, one we'll go or bad. Detail. But for now, violence, the ex-machine head. Violence. Oh, <laughs> the offense, I said. What did you say? I thought the L was an F. I'm so fucking Violence. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> X Machine Heads you reunite for one show to play Eternal Nightmare. It was Machine Heads band before. Cool. That. Yes, it was Violence. I was kind of excited. I liked Violence. Yeah, that's actually a. I heard like stories about it. Like they had a lot of problems with like gangs back in the day and stuff like that. Like oh, Violence did. Yeah, yeah like that's why Rob Flynn like left. Oh, only one show, and it's going to reunite on April 13th at the Oakland Metro in Oakland. That's where they're California. from. California. Yeah, Oakland's a tough town though. They're going to perform their 1988 mean? album. It's a tough town. Like, I, s- I stayed in Oakland for a week. It's, yeah. it's, it was it was like a ghetto, like uh, I don't know, New York. Yeah, that's where the Hell's Angels started. Oh, really? That area, yeah. I liked it though. I was yeah. down, just chilling. Yeah. I got some friends from. I Oakland wasn't afraid. And they didn't. They are not going back. <laughs> oh, they're gonna cover the uh, Eternal Nightmare album in full. Cool. That's been a thing lately. Every band, every time they they're play, they like play like an full. album in its entirety. Yeah. Yeah, man, and that's gonna happen, and it's gonna be good. So I like that. it. And then we got Corey Taylor of Slipknot. Oh yeah, one of my heroes. Of yeah, course. I actually like the new Slipknot song. I heard one oh, song. Oh god, it, it is really good. so good. Oh what my god, what is it called? I, I don't know if I heard All it. Out Life. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't oh my god, I love Slipknot. I'm gonna look it up. And Stone Sour. Anyway, he Twice explains Hot Topic. Corey Taylor his Damn. distaste for working with Rick Rubin praises Greg Fiedelman. Man, who the fuck is that? I guess another producer, but Rick. Yeah, Rubin. Rick Rubin's kind of a legend, but Rick Rubin did the Subliminal Verses record, but I don't know if he did anything else after that with Slipknot. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of lost. I push it. my fingers into my eyes. We know. know that's we know. I said <laughs> eyes. Oh, oh, purple said ass. <laughs> eyes. So yeah, whatever. You know, Corey Taylor confirmed that he's spending the next few months in a recording studio in LA to work on the next Slipknot album. Blah blah blah. He's on a guest of um, some shit called Let There Be Talk podcast, and offered some interesting insight in working with producers on past albums. And he didn't like Rick Rubin. Yeah. Every artist. But why? Uh, apparently, question. Rick Rubin is like the Full Metal Jacket of metal producers. Like he he doesn't let you cut corners. Like he doesn't let the artists cut corners. Like. He was behind some of the greatest albums ever, so like clearly his methodology works. But his first Metallica record, right, was the Black Album? No, I, no, I think his first Metallica. No, that was Bob Rock. I think his first Metallica record was Death Magnetic. Oh yeah, the day that never yeah. comes. Yeah, fucking awful. yeah, but he was behind Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic. He was. He worked with the Beastie Boys also, didn't he? Yep. Yep. Intergalactic planetary. Yes. I remember we had to remix one of their songs for a school assignment, and I couldn't listen to that song ever again after that. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I, I wish I, like, hacked into the system and just took it. It was so bad sometimes. I was never a huge Beastie Boys guy. Like, I appreciated what they did, but I was Thank never you. the Beastie Boys. You know, when I first heard them, I thought they were new metal, but... Dude, they came out when I was a kid. I know. They're customers uh, of my father. I respect their legacy, but I just can't get... Yeah, it's not my thing. I went to see him live one time. Oh, that had to have been a good show. I was kind of... 
whatever. Everybody can hate me for fucking saying this. Like, I was kind of bored. Like, I don't like hip hop stuff live. When they played the live shit, like the actual instrumental stuff, like the way, like uh, I don't know the names of any of that fucking song. But when they played like songs where they actually played instruments, I was entertained. There was plenty of bands that I've seen that people <laughs> are like you know just. I mean? There's so yeah. many. There are so many bands that people are just crazy over that I personally cannot stand as with everybody. So, I hear you. Like I hear you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you guys criticize my music all the time. No, I don't. Yeah. Um, You're a Kill Switch Engage fan. I fucking suck it. Fuck you guys. I love them. Yeah. The are t- you gonna see them at Terminal Five with Parkway yes, Drive? Yes, I am. I will be there. I bought my ticket as soon as it went on sale. Yeah. I've met the what's the guy we hung out with Jesse. Yeah, Jesse's a nice guy. Yeah, he's super nice. Super I nice love guy. Jesse. And I feel bad saying his band stinks, but no, but it's it not doesn't. My thing. You Dude, do you're from have... Boston. Show some respect. <laughs> Dude, come on. Am I gonna say like the Jesse cars? Jesse Leach is gonna rule? come. No, here to I visit hate me. the cars. Please <laughs> don't. <laughs> be nice. Sorry, Dad, they're if you're from listening from to this. From Boston you... also. Yeah, my dad tried to get me into them when we drove down L.A. together. He played like every album by them on repeat. I'm like, Dad, I'm sorry. This fucking sucks. Yeah, like a bucket of ticks. Like I just <laughs> there was there was a big Boston surgeon for a while though. Back in like the late early '80s. It was like the Cars, Aerosmith, Billy Squire. See, I know Boston for Kill Switch Engage, Shadows Fall, All That Remains, Unearth, the band, Baird. The band Boston. More than what a the feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the era of bands um, naming. That that was the era of bands naming their band after geographical locations. Guar did a whole thing making fun of it. They covered Carry On My Wayward Son. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember when they did that. Carry On My Wayward Son. Oh, my God. That's the best cover ever. No. All right, we got to fucking wrap it up. I got BAMP rehearsal. Oh, and you got to take a shit. It's brewing. Dude. And we've been going oh for over 40 boy. minutes. Fucking uh, Alex, good having you on. You want to plug your fucking... Uh, plug yourself? Why don't you plug yourself? What was he going to plug himself with? He's Your dick? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Danny, funny. you got the wine stopper? <laughs> you did your first interview this... Uh, your first New Year's interview this past... Uh, yeah, uh, with a Septic Flesh and Enciferum. Thank you to Metal Blade and Nuclear Blast for hitting that up. And plug your stuff. Uh, yeah, just uh, subscribe to Heavy New York oh, on YouTube. Oh. Uh, we got a lot of interviews coming up, which I don't want to jinx, so I'm not going to say who they're with. <laughs> Purple had no idea what I was talking about when I said plug your shit. <laughs> really? I never know. <laughs> I knew I knew that if you were on the podcast, that'd be said at least like twice. Yeah, I, I was planning on doing that at least six times, but we got pretty deep a couple of times. All right, come on. What do you got? Uh, subscribe to Heavy New York on YouTube. <laughs> like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, please. And uh, be on the lookout. We got some awesome stuff happening. And thank you, Jeff, for having me again. Happy to have you here, man. Yeah, yeah man. I think I should just be the substitute for Melody when she we'll, can't have time. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, Mel- Mel- Melody, me and uh, Melody are going to discuss. We discussed it a little bit last night. She's trying to work out her fucking schedule, and we're going to do it. I'm going to be in but, Thailand. I'm out. Yeah, for now, I might have guests on, like Frankie might sit in for Purple. For well, well, yeah, for the news when uh, Purple's away, and maybe we I'll get Johnny FaceTime on. FaceTime, and I'll and, do the news. Oh, come on. You got to yeah. get Johnny on. Yeah, I'll get Johnny on. Me and, John, me and Johnny will fucking do another one. And we'll get Frankie to do the fucking news. You so. haven't had him on since my since your public apology for me for fucking up my one interview. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dick. Nom, nom, nom. All right. We got to run. We'll see you. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. Later, Slayer.